with them. I said, no, honey, that's caviar. <laughs> Has anyone seen Scott? He's 30 minutes late. Uh, I mean, is that really a surprise? Hi. We're here. I, and I'm so sorry, Coach. The waitress that was supposed to relieve me was 30 minutes late, but we are here. Hey, Scott. Hey, Coach. Go ahead and warm up. Your son is a great player, but please try to get him here on time. Otherwise, he's not gonna be able to play in the big match next week. Right, right. Um, okay, I will. Uh, thank you. Isn't this the second time this week your son has been late? Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, it's just so hard juggling work and being a mom all by myself, you know? You don't have a husband to help you? Uh, no, it's just me. You're a single mom? Oh, that is such a shame. I'm... I'm sorry? Well, everybody knows a child needs a mother and a father to be successful. <laughs> I mean, it's proven that kids from single-parent homes end up on the streets. Wow. Uh, well, Tina, thank you for your concern, but that's not going to happen to my son. He's going to be just fine. <laughs> well, you don't have to get defensive about it. I'm just telling you the statistics. I mean, look at these kids. They're all practicing with their dads. And who's helping your son? Nobody. Which is why he's never going to be any good at soccer. For your information. Hey, Mom, check out this trick I just learned from Dad. That is so good. Now get back out there and keep practicing with your dad. So, what tricks does your son know? <laughs> All right, honey. Good luck. Okay, what, okay. Oh, what about my tie? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, let me get that. Okay. It's not perfect, but it'll do. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Mom. I didn't know Scott was oh, in God. speech and debate. Uh, yeah, he just enrolled. And he's really excited about the upcoming tournament. Why does his suit look so big on him? Well, I bought it at the Goodwill. Um, it's kind of hard to find the perfect size. What? You bought him a used suit? That is so sad. And what is up with that tie? Look, I don't need you criticizing everything about my son or the way that I parent. It, it's already hard enough being a single mom, okay? Okay, fine. Sheesh. Oh, all I'm saying is that if he had a father, he would at least have a proper suit and tie. Uh, are you serious right now? Uh, take a look around. Look at all these fathers who are helping their sons prepare. And who is helping your son? Exactly. Which is why he's never going to be able to compete against the other boys. Look, Tina, I am really getting tired of you. you Stating the facts? Oh, I know, honey. The truth hurts. Hey, sweetheart. You need anything? I'm good, thanks, Paul. All right. There you are. And there you go. And I apologize for the wait. We've been a little short-staffed. 
It's not a problem. Oh, hey, Samantha. Cute uniform. <laughs> hey, uh, let me know if you need anything else. I didn't realize you worked here. Who's watching Scott? Scott comes to work with me, and he's right over there. That poor kid. He has to spend his weekends at a restaurant watching you work? Well, actually, he doesn't mind. And besides, it's a good way for him to get his homework done. Oh, wow. He doesn't have anyone to help him. My husband always helps Jeremy with his homework. That's why he gets such good grades. Well. I'm really happy for you. That's really great. But anyhow, I've really got it. Oh, hey, he's probably going to graduate at the top of his class. I am so proud of him. Um, what kind of grades is Scott getting? I mean, since he doesn't have a dad, they... Seriously, enough with the single mother comments, Tina. Just because he doesn't have a father does not mean that he won't be successful. You see, when I found out I was pregnant, it was the happiest day of my life. Well, that is, until I told my husband. He didn't want to have any children or any responsibilities. So he walked out on me on the spot. And I couldn't stop crying. And after Scott was born, I promised him that even though I was all by myself, that I was going to be the best mom that I could ever be to him. To give him the best chance at success possible. And as he got older, even though I would be exhausted, by the time I got home from work. I never let that stop me from playing sports with Scott. And even though I can't buy him new suits or even put on his tie perfectly, I still make sure to help him prepare for everything that he wants to do in life. And I know it isn't ideal to have Scott wait around for me while I'm at work. But whenever I get a free moment, I help him study so that he can be as successful as possible, even without a dad to help him. So you see, even though I have half the help I give my son twice as much love. And that is all that really matters. <laughs> that is the silliest thing I have ever heard. But hey, if that makes you feel better, you just keep telling yourself that, okay, Samantha? <laughs> uh, excuse me, miss? Oh. Hey, you better get going. They may need you to take their dirty plates away. <laughs> Samantha stands there so upset with what Tina just said, but also knowing deep in her heart that she was about to prove Tina wrong. The next week, when the soccer match was taking place, both teams were tied 2-2 two to two with seconds remaining. Tina's son gets the ball stolen from him and everyone thinks their team isn't going to win. Except, Samantha's son comes out of nowhere and takes back the ball. He kicks and scores the winning goal for his team. Everyone's so excited. Well, almost everyone at least. Then, at the speech and debate tournament, Tina's son gives a great speech to the entire class. 
Tina and her husband cheer their son on, so excited for him to win the competition. However, when the teacher goes to give the trophy, she walks right past Tina's son and gives it to Samantha's son instead, who gave the best overall speech. Samantha and her son are so excited, while Tina can't believe what just happened. And then, a few weeks later, Tina comes to pay Samantha a visit at the restaurant. And there you go, two spaghetti and meatballs. Is there anything else I can get you? 99 out of 100. Um, give me one second. What were you talking My son, he got 99 out of 100 on his report card. <laughs> wow. So you came all the way over here to tell me that? Uh, yeah. I told you he would be top of his class. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Tina. That's really nice. I'm really happy for you. But now I really have to get hey, back whoa. to it. Whoa! Okay, um, I kind of forgot to tell you, but I got my report card back and I got all A pluses. <laughs> what? Let me see that. 100 out of 100? No. No way. See? I told you he was doing just fine. But how? How could you do that without a dad to help you? I don't need a dad. I've got my mom and look, I know that she has like half the amount of time to take care of me, but she gives me twice the amount of love. That's what really matters. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> and I am so I love you too, Mom. Maybe we can all do like a TikTok video together. You're way too old to be doing TikTok. Okay. You know, my dream was uh, always uh, to dance. What are you trying to do? Make us his followers? I was just trying to. Embarrass me. Just leave. <laughs>